I'm getting ready to go on like a semi alt med rant for a second, so. Good morning! <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Um, it's my second week in Austin now. Um, last week was kind of hectic, like just getting ready to leave the house and everything, so I didn't film. I didn't feel like the vlog was very cohesive, but it's okay. I'm um at my parents home right now i'm all dressed because i had some workshops this morning and now i'm getting ready to go steam my face because my allergies are still rearing their ugly heads um, i have always had bad allergies in texas i wasn't expecting such bad allergies in merida but like all of my friends there that are local are like yeah they're pretty bad but I'm feeling a lot better sounding a lot better all of that good stuff I want to get in a workout today too but not but I am going to but I do also want to add that it is very cold here it's like 46 degrees which feels freezing coming from like 99 degrees every single day so I'm getting ready to put some socks on first of all because my toes are cold but i have on leggings i have on long sleeves of course i love this lululemon top i think this is the swiftly and i love it or swifty swiftly and i love it because it has thumb holes <laughs> um when you're watching this i may still have a few things up on poshmark things started selling pretty fast like in bundles <laughs> so i do have to go to the post office today and get all of that stuff mailed out um i need a lint roller because one of the things is my theater kid um sweatshirt i want to get a bigger size than that so i'm selling the one i have um and it just has like a lot of little fuzzies so i just want to go over that with a lint roller before i package it up but um it's still early the post office isn't even open yet it's still like seven o'clock so i have some time look at this little girl <laughs> look at this little girl oh wow little girl oh, wow little girl you so cute rose little bella rose you so cute <laughs> look at those ties She's so sweet. Need this punch. The angel, the nine-year-old angel. Look at that face. Look at that face. It's so cold. I'm not used to this. Holy shiitake mushrooms. It is very, very cold out here. I'm on my sweater. I have on a long sleeve. I have on leggings. I have on cozy shoes. Like the shoes that have like that faux suede stuff on the inside. I even have those on. I need to take these down so you guys can get better lighting. Sorry, the, the heater is starting to get warm. So it's really loud. But headed to Target. I'm getting the lint roller, as I said. Um, I want some more tea and I need some hair stuff like some 4C slick down hair gel <laughs> so I'm gonna get that at Target and I think that's all oh and some I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree next door to the Target and get some thank you notes because I always like to put thank you notes inside of my Poshmark orders so that's what's on the agenda <gasps> other than getting more I feel like I need gloves it's so good. So, I tried on the 2X before. This is the 3X. I like the bottom of this one better, the fit, but the top is too big. Um, I feel like I'd have to wear a bra, like a strapless bra with it. But the 2X, the top fits perfect, but I feel like the skirt is just like a little too snug on my belly. So I'm like effectively in between sizes, which is very annoying, but I don't know, I like the look of the bottom of the 3X. They have this in black in like a very wild print as well, which I was not into at all. Um, I don't know. I think I might do the 3X. This is the 3X by the way. I don't know. It just feels like too much room up here. So when I'm like moving around, it's a little flashy. I don't know. I'm gonna try on the 2X one more time. Okay, this is the 2X. You see what I mean? Like, it just fits better up here. But this is just a tiny bit clingy. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. Wish I had just a tiny bit more room down here. But I think I prefer the fit of like 
the sleeves and the bodice better on this one and I can go like bra free. The slit's cute. It's still long enough for me to wear shorts under so I don't get chub around. I think I'm gonna do the 2X. Even though I prefer the 3X slightly on the bottom, I think once I have biker shorts under and they're sucking me in a little bit, that the 2X will be good. I love the flutter sleeves on this. Now I need to decide if I want blue or black or the crazy print, probably not the crazy print, but blue or black. I'm thinking blue. I do like blue. I just don't wear it a lot. Surprise, surprise, I left my camera in the car, <laughs> but I did try on a dress inside. I didn't end up loving it, so you guys already saw that. Now I'm going to Dollar Tree to see if they have some little thank you cards for my Poshmark stuff. Yes, I wore slippers out of the house. Listen, I'm not trying to impress anybody. <laughs> my feet were cold. This is so cute. I love Encanto, and... I love Play-Doh-y stuff. I didn't bring any in Mexico, but I might pick this one up because it's only a dollar twenty-five, which is honestly probably kind of expensive for this. This is what I'm looking for, but it seems like there's only like invitations. I don't see any thank yous. Yeah, it looks like they're all out of thank yous. Baby shower, no thank yous. Some of these are blank, so I think that'll work. I think I'm gonna do. I love plants. So I'm going to do this one with plants. Pretty cute. I kind of like that one too. I don't know if I'll have more than six orders. How much did I post? I guess I'll get two just in case. Ah, we found the thank yous. Not the cutest, but they are just a dollar twenty-five. So um this one's kind of cute. And I also like this one. It's just pretty simple, too. Just a little thank you. The kitty cats. Do we want the kitty cats? <laughs> I don't know which one I want. I think that looks very old school, so I'm not going to do that one. I think I am going to do the kitty cats. Thank you, kitty cats and the plants. That should be enough. Twelve. I think I listed maybe 15 things and I have a couple of bundles that sold and I have a couple others kind of like that one Ooh, I like those I think maybe I'll get these green ones instead of the plants that's not bad but it seems like thank you for like presents not for buying something that's simple too just the thanks <coughs> Got all my Poshmark stuff that I'm gonna really take. My mom <laughs> has this sign for her ice cream truck. It was just on open and then I turned it to close because the kids are on spring break right now so they've been coming by for ice cream a lot. So I had to flip that over and let's get going. I dropped that stuff off and like I said, on a Tuesday I was gonna come to this place. This is the Taylor, like the Hutto Taylor driver's license place to see what the heck happened to my driver's license. That was pretty painless. I got a temporary piece of paper <laughs> so that I, if I get pulled over, I'm not bad. It lasts for 60 days, which is very generous. I will not be here that long. And they said something, but they said, you'll get your voter registration in 30 days. I got my voter registration, but the license never came. So like half of the process came, but not the whole thing. I think one of my neighbors must have gotten it in their mail. That's just what I think. But anyway, hopefully this one makes it to our house. Now, I might go to Torrid. Woo, I need to take my hair down. Oh, it looks terrible. I bought stuff to like <laughs> slick it down, but I think I'm gonna go shopping instead. Shopping sounds much more fun I'm just gonna put this over the little visor thing so that it's there in the car and here we go let's get out of Taylor Taylor is racist I don't want to get a DWB over here if you know what I mean I have to drive like 
two miles under the speed limit because I swear they'll pull you over if you're driving the speed limit here if you're black. So, not gonna be here long. That's where I'm headed. We've made it to Torrid, y'all. Let's see what they have. So far, the dress that I wanted to look at, which was like a chambray blue dress, is here. Which I'm, I have high hopes about. It's expensive. But I keep my dresses for a really long time, so I think I'm okay with that. And now I'm gonna keep browsing. And we'll see. Everything in the fitting room. I found a few cute things so far. Now I'm gonna browse the clearance and see if I can find anything cute. This is the first dress. This is the chambray one that I came for. Nipples are on high alert, sorry. Um, I like this. I don't have on, obviously, any shape or anything. This is a four. And it's cute. It's like <laughs> my typical style dress. Let's see. Yes, it does have adjustable straps, which is great. Because I think these would need to be adjusted up just a little bit. But I do like it. It's a little longer than I wanted. I was wanting more midi length. But this just happens when you're short. Nothing's really midi length. And it's not maxi, so it just looks like <laughs> your dress is a weird, awkward length. But overall, I like it. Oh, I just wish it was a little bit shorter. Okay, no pockets in this one. I feel like I don't love this dress. I have a few dresses in this style. Maybe it's because it's on the shoulder. Let me try it off the shoulder and see what I think if I like it more I don't think this one's meant to be off the shoulder though like the other ones I have it's okay the other ones I have are in a two and I think that's better because it like holds my boobies up you know I keep reaching for a pocket but it's not there <laughs> this is kind of interesting right does it make it look too like cutesy it reminds me of this whole like Barbie core thing that everyone's doing right now So I like it, but it's also like plastic. So I feel like it'll peel off eventually and end up looking tacky er. <laughs> And I like to keep my dresses for a long time. So I don't want like Parts that peel off. I do like this dress though. I just don't know I guess I'd have to do a strapless bra with it. It doesn't really look good with no bra. I Like it, but I think I'm gonna try a two instead of the three in this one in theory but I definitely need to size up and they don't have it right now so this one's a no I like the bottom of this one too I don't necessarily know that this is my style I think it's just what Torrid has available type of a thing that's how I feel with like being plus size in general like we're kind of bound to what's available even if it's not necessarily always your style We'll see. I don't know. I'm going to go browse one more time. Good morning. It's so cold. It's dark. I'm at Sprouts. I need some iodine. Um, so I'm going to run in really quick. There's a Starbucks next door. So I'm going to run in there too. Because when the Lord gives you a gift, you don't deny it. Sprouts. Starbucks. -y. You can't really see it. It's so dark. I was looking for some. Ooh, you guys are so bright because we were outside. Some kombucha. I still have my hair tied up in my bin. Oh, I took my braids out yesterday, obviously. So, I'm gonna do a little shopping. I'll let you guys know what I get besides the iodine. I'm getting ready to go on like a semi-alt med rant for a second, so <laughs> stick with me or not. So, when I was vegan, people used to get very upset with me for saying I like things like Four Sigmatic because lion's mane mushroom really does help me focus. And people always go off on like how there's not enough research, blah, blah, blah. I will die on the hill that not enough research is done on homeopathic things. And the research that is done, it's not typically peer reviewed or people just don't want to put the funds into doing more research for it. So, you know, I've been battling allergies and like congestion for a few weeks because I have a deviated septum, like I've said, probably a thousand times before and in this video and I've been taking like mucinex and like traditional type of decongestants oh I closed my ring and nothing was working so I remembered this voice teacher that I had used to have us take nettle 
um, I don't remember how often we took it, but we took nettle. So I was at the store, I was like, let me grab this nettle, see if that helps. And it was to reduce mucus. I take the freaking nettle for one day. <sighs> you don't hear all the gurgling of congestion in my freaking chest. And nettle, like people use it for different things, but like for mucus, I'm like, <sighs> <sighs> I don't hear any congestion in here. <sighs> Everything. Eden, get down, baby. She's trying to get these ham bones my mom had given them. But yeah, I have like no congestion right now. Obviously, I'm gonna take it for probably like three days. You put 30 drops, you can either, either do like a little shot of water or a bottle. I do a bottle because when you put it in the bottle, it's not quite as potent. It tastes kind of like tea. And they do make nettle leaf tea as well. So one day of like natural remedies and I felt great. And that's kind of how I've grown up. We've talked about this in the past. But like I grew up with a lot of like homeopathic things. My mom used to have a book. I've asked her where it is and she said she got rid of it years ago. But it was all home remedies. It was like a huge book, like thick book of home remedies for like everything. And I, it's so funny because she raised the two of us so differently. This is my sibling's lipstick again. It's the NYX lingerie. And I really like it. I might buy one for myself. But my sibling's allowed to take like Advil and ibuprofen and Aleve and everything. I was never allowed to take that stuff. If I said I had a headache, she would tell me to go drink water. Or ask me if I was stressed. Why do you think you have a headache? Maybe you should go lay down. It was never, here's an Aleve. So, anyhow. That's my rant of the day. <laughs> um, I'm not a crazy person. That's I'm like, I feel like I'm right in the middle. Like there are some things that are all met the work, but if you're going septic, yes, please go to the hospital and get like modern medicine. Same thing with like, we don't want a resurgence of polio, you know, get that taken care of, get the polio vaccine or whatever. <laughs> but, um, Nettle save my life. That's the end of this story. I have to go drop off another package for Poshmark. I dropped off four packages yesterday. I have one package to drop off today. I think I only have some Nike sports bras left on there. And I'll probably take, I think I got a few offers on those. So I'll probably take the offers just so I can get rid of it. And anyone that shops with me on Poshmark knows that I do surprises. I never talk about it like super publicly because I don't want that to be the only reason people shop but um yeah so I'm getting those together and I also want to run to the hair store because I have in like a bun but I want to get like a phony pony you guys know even if people don't like the way they look I love a phony pony so I'm gonna go grab one made it to wigs and beauty I really like there's a different one called urban beauty in North Austin which I like more but I didn't feel like driving all the way up there so this one it is. Here's Phony Pony Land. They have tons of wigs. Then I need, to, I should probably grab some braiding hair while I'm here too. So I think I'm gonna do it all. I usually get the straw twist girl, but ooh, look at her. Bohemian fro, that's cute too. So just looking for a pony. A lot of you guys has asked about plus size clothing in Mexico and it doesn't exist. <laughs> I mean, that's not completely true. There is a Forever 21 in Merida that sells up to like a size 3X. And if you live in places like Mexico City, you have Lululemon, you have um, Old Navy, but it's like a 24 hour bus ride to Mexico City from Merida. And it's just like not <laughs> really worth paying import on a lot of things like um, Lane Bryant ships to Mexico, Universal Standards ships to Mexico, um, but you do have to pay customs on top of that. So if I'm already coming home and I just want to refresh a couple things in my wardrobe, like one of the white dresses I have, they, it has a hole in the pocket and anything I put, anytime I put stuff in it, it falls through. I'm going to sew up that hole. I just, I just sewed the strap on it actually. Sorry, I'm like having a hard time talking because I'm listening to a podcast at the same time. So I'm like hearing things and talking. So I'm gonna stop at Old Navy and I'm gonna stop at Lane Bryant. I didn't end up getting any of the dresses at Torrid. I just didn't love them. I liked the denim one, but I didn't love it, you know? And it, for the price, it was around $80. I just like couldn't justify getting it. Um, but I do have a couple of dresses in Mexico that are like, exiting their life cycle um you guys know that i i shop but 
a lot of the clothes that I have, I've had for years and years, and I keep clothing for years and years. I kind of wear my clothing completely out, especially like my dresses and stuff, because it is so hard to find things as a plus size woman that you really like. So I buy those things and I wear them and I enjoy them and I wear them completely out. <laughs> so um, I just need maybe like a couple little things to add to my wardrobe so i'm gonna go look in old navy i heard that they're not selling as much stuff in stores anymore so we'll see and then i'm gonna head over to lane bryant which is also really expensive but they had a couple of really really cute dresses this season so we'll see if they have them in store there's also a world market next door to it so i think i'm just gonna run in and look around i'm not gonna buy anything because obviously i don't have that much room in my suitcases to take stuff back but i do just want to see like what they have so I'm at um, the Old Navy, my little pink and yellow car. I'm at the Old Navy at La Frontera if you live in Austin. And we're going to go see. I feel like they had a good amount of plus size last time. We'll see what they have now. They're cute and they're 50% off. But I think that they're back to just selling up to an XXL. Which I can wear an XXL in a lot of their stuff. But it is still a bummer. This is also 50% off. I thought it was a dress, but it's a jumpsuit. <laughs> so I might try it on. They have, this is a 3X. Full disclosure, these are all 3Xs. I'm closer to a 4X right now, so I don't expect most of them to work. Um, I'll have to voice over this because the music is so loud in here. <laughs> Elaine Bryant, this is one of the dresses I liked in person. It's so long. <laughs> and then this one, it's kind of like that whole Barbie core type thing. And then also this one, which that's what it looks like on someone. Oh, my brightness is way up. Sorry. There we go. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm not sure that I love any of them in person, though. Right, here we go. World Market. So cute. Oh my gosh, adorable. Love this. It, like, goes over a door. I really like that. I love this day bed. I've loved it for years. One day, I will end up getting it. Oh my god, look at this. You know how I love Disney and that flavor. This is the Princess Jasmine one. Apple flavored white tea. Moana tropical mango green tea. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. Look at this little mug. And then look at the little surprise. A little black cat in there. So cute. These are so pretty too. I like those. I saw some at H-E-B that were just gold. And they were like super affordable at H-E-B. I think like two something per piece. Like these are five. And I know the sets are pretty expensive typically. Cool. So I was just talking to the camera for like, I don't know, 15 minutes. And I wasn't recording. <laughs> Look at my big fro pony that I got. I love it. I love a big fro statement moment. Um, I was saying that I'm going somewhere to get my steps. I was gonna go um, do like Leslie Sandstone inside, but I think I'm gonna go to like Costco and I wanna go check out the cell rack at the Domain Target and Domain, well it's the Arboretum Target Domain Torrid. And then see if I can find a Calphalon pan that I really want to take back to because I haven't been able to find a non-stick pan that doesn't wear pretty easily there anywhere other than Costco, which is pretty expensive. So I'm gonna go hit a discount shop and see if I can find what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna take you guys along. All right, let's go, let's do it.
like to run. run.